Okay, we're back. And I just want to send a message, and so I'm going to figure out what the uh, hex code for that message is first. And then I'm going to go ahead and send that. And based on the stuff I looked at before, CAN ID 295 plus the data is what the radio sends to the EVIC to display the current station. So if we do that, boom. Now we have a message on our EVIC. So we should be able to send any data anytime we want to the EVIC and have it displayed. It does look like you're limited to eight characters, um, but there may be ways around that, but that seems to be what that particular ID is limited to. Uh, CAN message frames in general are eight bytes, but if you need more data, you can send multiple things. Um, you know, we're back over here listening or watching. You know, and I can do things like, say, turn on the lights. You see some of that data show up, and it's really easy to see. You can actually see the difference, too, if the uh, fog lights come on, that 2E1 code there, back off, you see the number change. And so once you're monitoring, it's fairly easy with a tool like this to figure out what things in the car do what. Uh, let's, for example, say lower the window. And that was the 217 code. All kinds of fun.